Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Park. That's not right. Sorry, welcome to another video. Today we're doing a shit shave for a horrible friend. That's not right. Sorry, that's next week. Today we're doing a fantastic shave for a fantastic friend. Stay tuned, because I'm Steven Spielberg. That's not right either. Who the fuck, are, what are we doing here? That's right, I am Dave Shaves, and today we are doing a fantastic shave for a fantastic friend. Uh, this is a friend of mine who has meant the world to me. She has been there for me through thick and thin, and I've never done a full video dedicated to her like I have some of my other friends. Last week, I did a, uh, a shave dedicated to um, my friend David, and before that, I shaved with canola oil dedicated to my friend Avi. So this is dedicated to my friend Sam. She has been there for me for as long as I've known her without questions asked. She's my best friend and I love her and she's saved my life numerous times over. And it's important to me that she get this shave because she deserves it. All right, so basically the theme of today is a fantastic shave for a fantastic friend because she has been such. Now, that shave is going to be, these are not necessarily my favorite products, but these are products that always give a shave that is above and beyond what you would expect. Always. First, we are using my McCore 34C. It is my first good razor, DE razor. I've mentioned that before. And I never have a bad word to say about it. It's never given me anything but above and beyond what you would expect from a mild razor. So I really got to give it props for that. Uh, with that pairing, we are doing a feather blade, which is a great blade. Probably the sharpest currently in production. Especially when you... Sorry, especially. I always add an X there for some reason. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, especially when you pair it with a mild razor such as the McCord. It is fantastic. So we're going to pair those together. And then we're going to be using, for shave cream, my Palmolive Men. I love it. I got it a little over a year ago, and it is one of my, it is actually one of my favorites. It always gives you a great shave. I've never complained, I've never had, I've never had a reason to complain. I've never gotten a bad lather from this, and I've never gotten a bad shave while using it. So, it again, fantastic. There the, there's a theme here, if you hadn't noticed, and that's fantastic. Um, we're going to be... Lathering that up today with my old original Badger Hair Shave brush. It was, again, my first brush. And again, it goes above and beyond what you would expect for a rather cheap brush. I love it. It's great. No bad things to say. Really looking forward to using it with my Palm Olive. They pair great together. Then we're going to be finishing up with... Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm and splashing on some Skin Bracer Aftershave. Nivea Men, again, the secondary theme, and you're gonna hear it when I tell you about Nivea Men, is these are basically my, my original products, most of them, with the exception of the feather and with the exception of the Skin Bracer and Palm Olive, but the, the brush, the razor and Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling. These are the first products that I went to when I first started wet shaving. And I've never turned back because they give me a better shave than I would ever expect. And I love each of these products because of it. And that's why they match up well with, with the friend that these are dedicated to. Uh, that friend, Sam, I've mentioned, she had a birthday back in April, and she has recently been married. I, that was why I was in Michigan, was for her wedding. And 
I've never really gave her the benefit of one of these video videos dedicated directly to her. So this is this is for her. Um, and I'm sure she'll love it, especially the intro bit. I thought she'd get a kick out of that. So um, all of my friends that have had videos dedicated, these are these are the people that are closest to me in the world. Um, David, Avi, Sam, I can't imagine facing life without you. So we're going to go ahead and dedicate this to her and we'll go from there. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this. We're going to start by putting some palm olive shave cream into my Vikings blade chairman bowl. Just going to pop that right in there. And I think we have enough water in here. Dip that a little bit more just to make sure it's good. It's been soaking since before my shower because I actually remembered to do it this time. So yay. And we're just going to go ahead and start lathering up. I am really looking forward to this shave. Um, what about you guys? What Put in the comments below, what are the products that you love most? Or products, not even your favorites, not even that you love most. Products that will constantly surprise you. They give you a better shave than you would ever expect. What are some of those products? I know we all have them. So what are some of those products? And as we're lathering up, I just wanna go ahead and say, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon for notifications. And if you feel so inclined, follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at The Dave Shaves, and hit me up on Patreon as well if you wanna throw me some support. And that is Patreon slash Dave Shaves. So go ahead and hit me up on those. Otherwise, enjoy the video. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this lather in. We got a lather Got it lathering nicely. You can see I love it because it just blows up incredibly. I never have a bad lather with this, ever. And it just, it, this lather just explodes. I love it. From the first time I tried it until now, I've never had a bad experience with it and I would never expect to. Um, this lather builds up better than most other lathers, in my opinion, at least from what I've tried. And there's a bunch I still have not tried. So, but as far as like, from what I understand, this is sort of a, a lower end cream. Um, it's not super expensive and it's nothing artisan or anything like that, but it's just, it's dependable. And that's really what you want from a shave cream like this. So, all right, we got some nice lather going. Gonna go ahead and splash some hot water on my face. start lathering up and I'm gonna tell a story that she loves me to tell uh, sh shortly after we met a couple years ago I was involved in a very serious car crash and I, I almost lost my life um, I, sh I should have actually if I'm being honest it was and I've mentioned it before there is it's one of two major car crashes I've been in my life this one was the most recent, and I, luckily I have no lasting repercussions from this particular one because I was in a very well-made car. But anyway, after that, no one, sadly, very few, if anybody, actually no one, no one called me afterwards, the day after. Only two people called me, and that was Sam and that was my friend David. And Sam didn't even have my number. She went to a coworker of mine. Um, Cause we were working, I was selling insurance out of a Sam's club at the time. And she was working in a, in another area of Sam's and that's how we met. And she went and she got the number from my friend just to call me specifically just to call me from my coworker. Um, and she called 
And the first thing she says, she doesn't say hello. She doesn't ask how I'm doing. No, the first thing she says is, I know exactly who it was. She picked up the phone. I picked up the phone and she said, yeah, I just want to know if a dog fighting rink in my backyard is covered by my insurance. I laughed. I couldn't help but laugh. I needed that. I needed someone that was just going to break the ice, but she called to let me know she cared and to let me know she was thinking about me. And we barely knew each other at the time. So that really does tell you the type of person she is. And I can't imagine what that day would have been like if she hadn't called. And if she hadn't made that joke. And we've been virtually inseparable since. At least until she up and abandoned me from Michigan. She knows I'm kidding. She knows I'm kidding. Who knows, with any luck, maybe I'll end up moving to Michigan. At least that's the hope. That's the hope. But we'll see. But yeah, she loves it when I tell that joke. And it, it really just explains who, who she is as a person. And whenever anything happens, she's always the first person to make sure I'm okay. <laughs> So, she definitely deserved this shave. And I wish her nothing but the best to her and her new bride. And although they have never met, her and David are, are my rocks. I, I can't imagine life, going through life, especially the past year, 2020, Jesus, almost, God. Start of 2020 was a year and a half ago, if you can believe it. And I just, I can't imagine what that time would have been like if I didn't have those two, even just a phone call away. And this is coming on purpose the day after the heavy conversation that I had with y'all concerning mental health a few days ago. Because um, this sort of goes hand in hand. Find yourself people that get you through these times. If you find a person or people that make a year like 2020 bearable or even livable. If you find those people, that's your best friend, bar none. People that can make your darkest hours not seem that bad. Those are your best friends. One more pass, and it is doing exactly what I would expect. It's doing a fantastic job, which is exactly what you would want for a video titled Fantastic Shave for a Fantastic Friend. And find these people because they're more than just your friends. 
Sam is more than just my friend. She's, she's my family. Uh, she welcomed me into hers. And that's not something people typically do for me. I don't have a whole lot of people that'll do anything for me. I don't have people that I can count on. I don't have a lot of people I can count on through thick and thin. I don't have family. I lost my parents, as you know. I lost, I lost everybody. I don't have people close to me very many anymore. So to find people that treat me like family, it's not something I'm willing to just toss away. I have not had a family aside from my wife in a very long time. So to find it again is important. This really is a great shave. Sorry, just thinking about everything. It's a good day. I'm having actually a decent day, which is why I decided to do this. Hope everybody's doing well. And if you feel so inclined, tell me about your best friends. Put that in the comments below. Let me know who are people that you count on most. Do you have those people? If you don't, find them. But let me know. Who are the people that you can count on most, no matter what? There we go. God, that was a really good shave. Really good shave. And I thought I had a couple nicks, and I might slightly here, but nothing major. Good job. Great, it's all right. Let's go ahead and just clean off my face a little bit. If I need a Nick stick or anything, mm. yeah, maybe just a little bit of the Nick stick from a uh, Pacific Shave Company. Just a tiny bit in that area before the. Before aftershave, just a tiny bit. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and use my aftershaves that I pulled out. All right. And again, as I finish up, I just want to give a very special thank you again to Sam for always being there for me whenever I need a friend. I appreciate you more than you know, and don't ever let anybody, including yourself, doubt the type of friend you are because you are amazing and you are wonderful, and I can't imagine my life without you. So, 
I appreciate you and I just want to say thank you. From the bottom of my heart, Sam, thank you. And I wish you and Norma the happiest of lives and I can't wait to see you whenever that happens to be. All right, to the rest of you, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this conversation. If you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications. Hit me up on, if you feel so inclined, hit me up on social media at The Dave Shaves. Give me some love and support on Patreon. Again, at The Dave Shaves. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button. Give me some comments and love below. That's it, of course. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.